Hey, we're in the garage and we're gonna test whether or not two different types of bed adhesion helpers are gonna work on the really big machine. Let's get to it. So this is the, ready Sean? You got the graphic ready? The 3D Platform 300 Series Workbench Pro. I love it when he does that. I've had some bed adhesion issues on this machine and I'm trying to find ways to combat that. And I've got two to test out today. One, this is Super 77. This is a multi-purpose adhesive. I've got the 3M brand right here. And someone in a previous video mentioned that for larger prints, this is what they use on their glass beds, unheated. I'm kind of excited about that. Also, we're gonna be testing out this. This is Zilla Grip, and this was sent to me during a Fan Mail Friday episode, and a lot of people really wanted to find out if this stuff worked. And so we've got Zilla Grip, we've got Super 77, and we've got some 3D Benchies ready to go. Let's just go over exactly the preparations that I did before this. So at first, I put on the Super 77, and I put on this side of the bed. The comment listed, holding it away from the bed four to six inches and spraying and it was going to be clear. This wasn't clear. I don't know if there's really anything to be worried about, but it's there now. I actually used a piece of wood to create that nice line right down the middle. Not too bad, right? For the Zilla Grip, I used this included silicone brush and the instructions that were emailed to me said for PLA, you don't need much and you can do a one-to-one -one mix with acetone. I can't find my acetone and I figured we're dealing with some material that likes to lift. So I just did Zilla Grip on the bed. I, I hope they aren't mad at me for that, but I used the silicone brush to kind of brush it around. The tip flew off. Dang it. And I found it, but you know, whatever. We got it down on the bed. And now for the material that we're using, it's actually Protopasta High Five Blue. They had some that they couldn't sell in 285. And so they gave it to me and I was like, it's really nice of you to do that. And so this is gonna be our test material for this. And also in the past, I found that High Five Blue does not wanna stick to this bed with any of the other adhesion helpers I've used because of some additives in it or something like that. There was also a white PLA that I couldn't get to stick down. The problem was it would go down in very, very thick extrusions, like one or two millimeters wide. And I think that was too wide for this material and it just couldn't hold on. I just stopped the print, cause look, lifted, lifted, lifted. That's good there, oh, lifted. So as far as being a good test, I think this is it. As for the model, I've sliced up a 3D Benchy. I've got one that'll print on this side and I've got one that'll print on this side and so I think, I mean, we're there. It's ready. Let's see if these work. We're gonna test the Super 77 first. I'll get the print started. Okay, I set the print to go. We have the nozzle temperature set at 220C, the bed at zero. I've got this camera and it's got a nice tight macro lens on it. So I should be able to get nice and close and see how those layers are going down. And then if anything starts lifting, we'll get a good, good view of it. Looks like we're getting a nice squish. I think my nozzle's a little too close to the bed, but we seem to be going okay right now. <laughs> gotta, gotta stop it, gotta stop it. One of the issues with this machine is the way it levels. Uh, the head has two extruders on it and we're using the right one and the right one is heavier, which puts, as I was told, some downward pressure on the axes, which means that you, you have to kind of when you lower it to the bed to level it, you have to stack it with something underneath it in order for it to not be too far down. And right now it's too far down. So now I gotta I got fix that and, and then we'll print. Got that done and we're starting to print again. So we should have a better, more accurate, proper height between the bed and the nozzle. That's what I was adjusting there. And it means that maybe we could actually start the print this time. 
crush your fingers harder this time. Come on. Let's see what happens. That's a little better. But what I can do is baby step this. And that's, there we go, that's better. Well, call it even. It's looking okay, right? That's not bad, nice and squished. It's kind of cool, I can actually lean on the bed, it's not hot. <laughs> That's pretty good right there. That is a nice, thick extrusion. Yes. In fact, have a look at those lines right there. That is proper. That is proper right there. You recognize that. Looks like we've got a successful first layer starting to lay down. We're gonna let this print and we're gonna see what happens. Test, 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 test. I don't understand. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Listen, so it's going and it's not lifting. Not one bit. Like not even one bit. So I I'm, I'm, I'm took the microphone off <laughs> and I'm going to go inside and eat dinner. I thought it was going to lift. Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. I would be like, oh gosh darn it. Well, we'll try the other one. But it's not lifting at all. So I'm going to go have dinner and I'll check it in a little bit. Later. Just had dinner. My beautiful wife made steak, mashed potatoes, and salad. It was wonderful. So let's take a look and see how it's doing. Oh no, that looks like a lift. Oh no, that is lifting like crazy right there. Look at that. Hot dang. Okay. What are we doing over here? Boy, I can't. It's, it's lifting as well. Shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. I don't think we need to fulfill the rest of the test. We've had lifting, which I've experienced in the past, and so what we're gonna do is reset. I'm gonna stop this, we're gonna pull it, and then we're gonna start the Benchy over there on the Zilla grip. Sound like a deal? Deal. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow, yeah. If I hold that up, look at one side's a little up, right over here. Shoot! And the bow of the boat, it's got a little bit of a lift to it. See that? Just a, just a smidge, just a smidge. My guess is Super 77 would probably work a lot better if it wasn't 60 degrees Fahrenheit in the garage. My guess, if it was a 10 degrees hotter, we might have a better stick. That's my guess. Or maybe if it wasn't High Five Blue, maybe if it was a different PLA that didn't have, uh, what is it? I don't know if it's Elastomers or something in there. Whatever's in there. But anyway, we're gonna try the Zilla Grip now. If that's not satisfying, I don't know what is. There we go. Okay, it's laying it down. And it's laying it down on the Zilla Grip. Looks like our height is good. Quick test. Yep, the height is good. There we go. Well, we're getting some motion. Looks like it's laying it down. Back there, you. I'll set up the time-lapse camera, what do you say? Okay, seriously, it's going down really, really well. Uh, fingers crossed for Zilla Grip. We did, we got this far using Super 77. The bottom is, I mean, look at that. The bottom's not too bad. It's just, it started to lift right here and it started to lift right here. Those were kind of pain points, I guess, when you're doing this size of extrusion. Uh, the rest of it looks stellar. I mean, honestly. All right, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go back in the house. I'm gonna go watch a TV show. Be back in a bit. See you then. I'm back and the Current print is about the height of the last one. So why don't we take a look? Because unfortunately, there's lifting. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, it's lifted right there. Shoot. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, we tried. Let's check the other side, just in case. 
Okay, the front of the boat looks okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's lifted. I'll stop the print and then we'll take a look at it a little more up close. Huh, came right off, look at that. So there's the infill structure there. The bottom of the boat looks great. It's, it's, uh, it's smooth. There's no residual from the Zilla grip. It's just that one, well here, let's take a look. So if you look right there, it's that corner. Darn it. I'm kind of sad, honestly. I was really hoping for a breakthrough here because it's a big giant machine and it's a lot of fun to use. And I like my filament from Protopost at the High Five Blue, but extruding it at a very large extrusion size, in this case, a one to 1.2 millimeter extrusion width and 0.5 millimeter layer height. That is a lot of mass that is heated that then has to cool down. Bed's not heated though, which is kind of interesting. And so prints start really fast. And if you look, I mean, the extrusions, they look really, really good. So I know I've got something there. It's just what's left. I've tried bare glass. I've tried glue stick. I've tried magic goo. I've tried uh, Dima, Dima Fix, right? Yeah, Dima Fix. I've tried Super 77. I've now tried Zilla Grip and I'm running out of options. What do I have left? If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments because I'd love to try them because once we find something that works, it is, it is just, it is go time and I love it. Well, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. I look forward to your suggestions and if you can practice kindness aggressively and I'll see you on the other side. Take care, much love, and as always, high five.